All right, welcome back, you filthy exiles. I'll just pop some sound on this and then we'll get cracking. All right, so I thought I'd do a little mechanic video on, and I'll do this for the main, the key end game bosses, but a lot of people, at least newer players, um, are a bit sort of probably daunted by the idea of taking down things like Shaper and Cyrus and whatnot. At least that's what I picked up in some of the comments on my videos. So there's, they're all relatively easy fights if you know how the mechanics work. So the one that we're going to focus on today is Shaper. Which for the longest amount of time, when I was first getting to endgame and not really understanding the game, I struggled with and now is an incredibly easy fight. So let's actually do it. Alright, so you'll need your four fragments. You're going to go into the Shaper's realm as a first of all. Alright. So he's going to say some shit. So the first thing is we're going to go to the four quadrants and kill the mini bosses. We'll just get our minions to completely rail him. Alright, so first one down. Shut up, Shaper. Done. All right, we'll go to the next one. Oh, we nearly fucked up there. Dot is not this build's friend. All right, next one. Oh, this will be, what, Duresso? Yeah, this one's a bit of a pain in the ass. So yeah, there's four phases. For honor. We pretty much just want to stay away from him for a, minute, for a minion build. Just let the minions wail on his head. That's, that's why I don't like this fight. done. Right, so now we go and kill Shaper. So the biggest thing to remember is when he goes into his teleport, you want to teleport yourself just as he's about to reappear on top of you, otherwise he'll smash you and kill you. So we go into here, we just go to the center of the map. He says some more shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, he won't. So we tag him, and then pretty much we want to move away for a minion build. And when he does that, then you want to teleport away. And then you'll see him when he's about to blast you with his Kamehameha, and that's when you're going to teleport out of the way again. Now, dodge the balls, never get hit by the balls. The other thing is you need to manage these here, because these little orbs, they will kill you, and especially you want to keep them out of the center of the field, you want to place them out here and just let them hit you out here. Alright, so he's back up. So again, you'll see, now he's hit done his slam. And then we teleport back in, he does his Kamehameha. We still want to stay on the outskirts in case a ball comes. So now it'll go into the next phase, and that's going to be kill the mini boss thing. So pretty much we just teleport across here. Don't worry too much about it. none of these ads can really do too much damage. Alright, they just slowed me the fuck down. They're a pain in the ass. They're more annoying than they are actually damaging. Yeah, the other way. God. Damn it. Oh, must be this one. Oh no, that is the boss. Alright, so then you, you come up against this dude. There'll be two instances of this. This will take you back to the Shaper. Right, we're back to the Shaper. He says some more shit. No, I will not be helped. 
Right, we want to tag him again. So when Zana's ball comes up like this, you want to stay inside and then he's going to teleport all around. Biggest thing you want to do here is make sure you're paying attention because as soon as this stops, he's going to Kamehameha you like that. So then you want to teleport back out and start wailing him down while he's doing that shit. Now again, see how he does that right before and we have to manage the ball at the same time. So we've managed that. We want to dodge those balls because they will kill you. Yep, throw your balls. Alright, now we go to the next phase. Now, we do pretty good damage. Not every build does this much damage, but you know, sometimes it'll take longer. The longer this fight takes, the worse it gets. Alright, so don't go near his balls, he will kill you. Anything that has balls, it will kill you. Uh, <laughs> um, as you can see, there we go, he's done. Like a dinner. Now, my minions have fucking died, so we're just going to spawn this. Alright. Yeah, yeah, you're all, you're all fucking lies. Shut up, shut up. No, 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 it's a red trick. Alright, and now we just basically want to sit, we want to stay out of his Kamehameha. So this is not, now you just always stay out of the center is pretty much the goal here. Don't go near the center. If you're in the center, shit's going to happen and you're not going to be happy when it happens to you. I need more mana. There we go. Shit. All right, so we want to teleport out of that. Another ball's coming at me. Want to get out of the way. All right, so before we hit this phase, we want to drop, oh shit, and this is not good. So now we want to put the ball on the outskirt now that we're in the center because we sort of fucked up there. Now he's doing his thing. He's kamehameha -ing. Stay out of the Kamehameha. Alright, he's teleporting. Now we want to teleport out. Manage the balls. Our minions are still doing their thing. And he's dead. And that's it. There's a lot of steps involved. And this thing's worth like 70 or 80 chaos by the way. So, you know, pretty good. Uh, void walkers aren't very good anymore. But that's basically what you want to do. You want to consistently dodge, you want to dodge his teleports. So you'll drop your teleport just as he's about to, as you see that it pop up on the screen, you want to teleport out of the way, he hits you with that slam, you're going to die. Um, you want to stay out of the way of his balls because the shape of balls will kill you. The Kamehameha, if you don't have the life pool or the ES, will kill you. And the biggest thing is managing the orbs as they come in from the outskirts. Now, if they build up in the center, they will completely destroy you. And when it goes out into, into phase, when it goes and he's teleporting around and blasting chaos everywhere. And if you're inside that little pit under Zana's shield and those balls have built up there, you will pretty much die unless you've got the health pool and the, the um, chaos resist and dot uh, damage reduction to handle that. That's pretty much shape up. It's not a hard fight. As you can see, I did this deathless pretty much you know, on the seat of my pants. I didn't really take any real damage and my minions were pretty much unfazed by everything except for my zombies, they did die. Anyway, that's the first boss I'm gonna show you. I am gonna do, I'm also gonna do Elder and show you how the Elder fight mechanic works. And then I'm gonna show you how Cyrus works those are the three key bosses there are a few other bosses and we can do those as well we might even dig out was it all in the in the delve pits and find him and then kill him as well but um but yeah that's pretty much shaper so anyone who's been struggling with shaper that's how you take down shaper that's the basic concept of shaper and that's pretty much how you do it anyway if you like this video like and sub if you hate this video and you think i can't kill shaper even though you've seen me kill shaper um, you know, do your thing. And until next time, bye.